So this sham indictment going down tomorrow. And, and you know what's interesting now is the fake news is saying the same thing over and over and over. 37 counts, 37 counts, 37 counts. It's serious, it's serious, it's serious. 37 counts by this clown Jack Smith. Break down for us, what does the government have here? Well, John, I think before you even get to what they have or think they have, and you make a good point at the outset, that is really Mockingbird, and it seems like they get their orders from a centralized source with a set of talking points of say this repeatedly to generate a narrative, uh, is how we got here, right? So it's typical that presidents take documents and they use them actually in many cases to form presidential libraries, right? Presidents also retain their security clearances. They get uh, taxpayer-funded offices. They get uh, SCIFs in which to uh, maintain the security of documents, right? And uh, there is usually a, a process where a president decides which of the records are his personal records versus which of the records are government records, and that's negotiated with the National Archives. But here we know that the relevant uh, archivist had a fit of peak when he saw boxes, as he says, uh, you know, as Trump was leaving the White House, and he said, what is in those boxes, right? He, he spun himself up into a storm. They started uh, going back and forth with President Trump, and then uh, the Justice Department became involved, and they tried to conceal uh, this and pretend as if this was all in the ordinary course with the National Archives, NARA, uh, and that um, it was also uh, something that the White House had no involvement with. But they, they sort of had a, a tissue of lies that's been peeled back piece by piece. First, it came out that it was not the FBI that independently authorized the Mar-a-Lago raid in August of last year. It uh, was indeed uh, coming from uh, uh, the Attorney General. And then the next line of defense was pierced after they had Karine Jean-Pierre first say that Biden had no involvement with this, that Biden actually specifically authorized the Justice Department to and the NARA to get into Trump's records, which required presidential action. They tried to conceal that. So this was all an op, I believe, uh, John, to try to, to set traps for Trump. And then they wrote very deceptive uh, certification uh, uh, you know, requests in terms of please tell us that, you know, we have all of the documents that have been marked classified, even though they refused to tell President Trump and his lawyers what documents they were claiming actually remained classified and were not uh, declassified. I think they hoped to set up these traps, spring them, and that then they would see if, you know, some kind of mistake was made that they could spin up like a tempest in a teapot and try to bring down President Trump. It's unprecedented, John. It is a complete witch hunt. It is a, it is complete selective prosecution. We have evidence, and we have James Comey saying no reasonable prosecutor would ever pursue a case against Hillary Clinton. For gosh sakes, you know, she was smashing blackberries or having people smash blackberries with hammers. She was using uh, bleach bit software to destroy electronic records. You know, that is complete consciousness of guilt. Who knows what's in uh, what she destroyed? And you know there were never really any attempts to 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 try to recover those emails forensically. But for Trump, he's just engaged in ordinary presidential uh, transition kinds of um, you know transition back to private life practices, and they're treating it as if it is you know uh, treason against the United States. It, it, it's it's I can't even describe it. it it's a, a distinctly American brand of lawfare, right? It's been, anal you know, analogized, I've analogized it to Stalinist show trials, but those were complete shams, right, where they had lawyers, but it clearly was all cooked up in advance by the party. Here, it's not that bad yet, but it, to the extent they could pull out any stops against President Trump, they pulled them out, John, because they want to destroy the man and they want to destroy the movement. 